80 degrees, slightly overcast, humid here for this first of three between Monmouth and Iona. Joined today by my broadcast partner, Greg Ott. We'll be joined by Jared Weiss later in the broadcast as well. I am Eddie Acapinti, and we are ready for Mac baseball after the foul tip. But it doesn't matter here as McGee will get Giuliano looking with the breaking ball. Last few days at the Mac softball tournament, and it was not ideal weather. Well, that's an ideal pitch there from Andrew McGee as Mistretta swings and misses, and they're quickly two away here in the top of the second with these eight straight wins. Dietrich's 1-0 is driven into the right center field gap. That'll be a base hit. Gaida follows around. He will score behind Lamberton, and Robbie Alessandrine continues his hot hitting. That two-RBI single gives Mammoth a 2-0 lead. Doesn't get so After this brief stoppage, we're back as this ball is grounded up the middle, off the leg of Dietrich. It'll be an infield single for Danny Havella during this year. One and one is top towards second. Bruno goes the short way to second on the first. Lamberton beats it out, and that will allow Sweeney to score from third, and Monmouth will take a 3 nothing lead. Nice hustle from the freshman, Grant Lamberton. Four run and drive in a run without a hit. And then followed up with a base hit. John Guida through the left side. He'll continue his resurgence. And maybe the bats go quiet for two days. And before you know it, you're not winning. But here Perry is going to drive one into the left center field gap. Rounding third and scoring is Lamberton. Perry head first into second. It's an RBI double for Kyle Perry. And Monmouth goes on top for nothing. Do that. It is a good decision to stay. The full count is high. It'll be an RBI for Bamford. Guida's decision not to go proved to be a smart one there as he can walk home now. The payoff. Outside. He'll walk another run in. Type. It's a very Northeast centric uh, broadcast. Torres is picked off and caught stealing by the combination of McGee, Avella, and Guida for the second out. The 1 1 to Avella is driven. Bye bye. No doubt about that for Danny Avella, and that's. That's vintage Danny Avella. That's that 2012 is, that Danny That is old school Danny Avella. Right off the bat, hits it right down the right field line. And now he stands fifth all time in Monmouth program history with 25 career round trippers. The 1-1 to Lamberton is driven through the hole between first and second. Take it. The 1-1 pitch is driven back up the middle and past the diving... Bruno at second base for a base hit. Walk. Alessandrine with another good plate appearance. Drives it into right field. They'll send Gaida around third. Play at the plate is a little bit late. Gaida scores, and it's 9 nothing. Monmouth. He's reached in all three plate appearances. Two singles and a walk. Alessandrine. Ooh, off the bare hand of Martin. Exactly what they teach you not, not to do. do. Yeah. And Alessandrine's on with his third hit of the day. That's a tough. First pitch of the inning, grounded right back up the middle past Martin. A nice diving play by Bruno at second. But it'll be an infield single, f infield single for Steve Wilgus. Came out in theaters and it was appropriate. <laughs> as Sweeney tops this one in the left field. A couple of steps back from Mastretta. He'll range over in a left center now and he'll drop it. Advancing over to third will be Wilgus. Sweeney will slide into second with a double... Anthony Chivarell is one and two. Swung on and missed. Hogan gone here in the top of the eighth inning for the Iona Gales. On the season, sidewinder up the middle, and it's put right back up by John Guida. The shortstop will continue his hot hitting. Third hit of the afternoon. He's been on base four times. It's all right. He's two and two. Is laced out into left field. Giving chase is Bamford. He'll squeeze it. And the Hawks will win game one, 10 nothing, behind a strong pitching performance from Andrew McGee. The bullpen does the job. The offense cranks out 14 hits in 10 runs. And Monmouth now improves to 20-20 and 20 overall, Greg, and 10-7 and in league play, shrinking their magic number to two.